Hi everyone, uh, hope you guys are having a great weekend. If some of you have had the chance to watch uh, Logan movie, uh, there, are, there, there are two kinds of people in this world. One are those who are comic book readers and also are following the cinematic universe, whether it's Fox or Marvel Cinematic Universe. And there are others who are simply following the cinematic universe, uh, but are not uh, much of comic book readers and haven't read the source material if I must call it. Now the thing is that uh, when you uh, there are, and within the comic book reading uh, community there are many who might as well have missed this uh, storyline. Uh, this video clip essentially is a review of uh, a great story done by Mark Miller and artwork done by Steve McNiven back in 2008 and it is a quintessential classic Marvel era story uh, entitled Old Man Logan. Now I haven't watched the movie yet but uh, it's uh, a bit difficult to say whether the movie is solely based on Old Man Logan storyline because if you look at uh, Hugh Jackman's appearance uh, he looks more uh, from uh, Death of Wolverine storyline, uh, the way his makeup, his beard, everything has been made up. Anyways, once I get the chance to watch the movie, I'll be sharing my review of that as well. But anyhow, uh, you whether you like the movie or you don't like the movie, you guys seriously need to read this story. It is uh, a unique uh, story based in, uh, uh, which takes place in a dystopian future where Marvel heroes have been killed uh, by whom I'm not going to reveal that and at the same time uh, there are there is an interesting cast of supporting characters uh, along with a highly uh, interesting cast of villains as well now, in this respect, uh, Wolverine, uh, the initial uh, plot is that uh, Wolverine is basically uh, living in a far, a far off land uh, somewhere around modern day California in our times. Uh, and he is trying to save his farm from the feudals in his area. Yes, the US, has uh, the, the US democracy experiment has failed. The United States has descended into chaos and it's being ruled by uh, fiefdoms, uh, by feudal lords. Uh, and in that respect, uh, he goes out with his friend, and I am not going to reveal his name, uh, to find somebody all the way across uh, to, from the Pacific all the way towards the Atlantic uh, just to save his farm. Uh, and in this respect, uh, the, what the events that take place, the story, the twists and turns, the fights, and the death um, of an old man, an old man who doesn't want to unleash his berserker rage, who is trying to restrain himself. Uh, the pain and the restraint, one can feel uh, his agony. And uh, th this is essentially one of the reasons why uh, stories uh, from the classic Marvel era are so great is because they are relatable when it comes to, uh, you know, looking at the hero's emotions, uh, the psychological struggle that uh, he or she is facing from within. And uh, it, it really sheds light uh, on uh, what sort of a, ca a character Wolverine can be besides being the conventional Wolverine and uh, this is one of the uh, one of the most interesting takes that have ever been taken on Wolverine whether you talk about House of M uh, whether you talk about uh, Earth X uh, this has been by far the best take uh, on the character we know as Wolverine, aka James Howlett, aka Logan. You guys seriously need to read this story. It is uh, a unique uh, story based, in, uh, um, which takes place in a dystopian future where Marvel heroes have been killed, uh, by whom I'm not gonna reveal that. 
and at the same time uh, there are there is an interesting cast of supporting characters uh, along with a highly uh, interesting cast of villains as well now in this respect uh, wolverine uh, the initial uh, plot is that uh, wolverine is basically uh, living in a far a far off land uh, somewhere around Mod um, of an old man an uh, old man who doesn't want to unleash his berserker rage who is trying to restrain himself uh, the pain and the restraint one can feel uh, his agony and uh, th this is essentially one of the reasons why uh, stories uh, from the classic Marvel era are so great is because they are relatable when it comes to uh, you know looking at the hero's emotions uh, the psychological struggle that uh, he or she is facing from within and uh, it it really sheds light in day California in our times uh, and he is trying to save his farm from the feudals in his area. Yes, he, the U.S. has uh, the, the U.S. democracy experiment has failed. The United States has descended into chaos, and it's being ruled by uh, fiefdoms, uh, by feudal lords. Uh, and in that respect, uh, he goes out with his friend, uh, and I am not going to reveal his name uh, to find somebody all the way across uh, to from the Pacific all the way towards the Atlantic uh, just to save his farm uh, and in this respect uh, the, what the events that take place the story the twists and turns the fights and the depth hi everyone uh, hope you guys are having a great weekend if some of you have had the chance to watch uh, Logan movie uh, there are there there are two kinds of people in this world one are those who are comic book readers and also are following the cinematic universe whether it's fox or marvel cinematic universe and there are others who are simply following the cinematic universe uh, but are not uh, much of comic book readers and haven't read the source material if i must call it now the thing is that uh, when you uh, there are, and within the comic book reading uh, community, there are many who might as well have missed this uh, storyline. Uh, this video clip essentially is a review of uh, a great story done by Mark Miller and artwork done by Steve McNiven back in 2008. And uh, it is a quintessential classic Marvel era story uh, entitled Old Man Logan. Now, I haven't watched the movie yet, but uh, it's uh, a bit difficult to say whether the movie is solely based on Old Man Logan's storyline, because if you look at uh, Hugh Jackman's appearance, uh, he looks more uh, from uh, Death of Wolverine's storyline, uh, the way his makeup, his beard, everything has been made up. Anyways, once I get the chance to watch the movie, I'll be sharing my review of that as well. But anyhow, uh, you whether you like the movie or you don't like the movie,